Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product, product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to clone and edit existing Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to clone and edit existing Business Central reports, we will use the reports from the Fornaf customizable report pack and some existing Business Central reports. However, you can clone any report in any extension. The only prerequisite is that the show my code property in the report source extension must be enabled. To demonstrate cloning reports, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will clone a Fornav report. In step three, I will clone an, an RDLC report. In step four, I will edit my cloned report in VS Code. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be cloning reports in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I have installed the Fornav customizable report pack and I've executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the, on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the Fornav designer installed on my PC. The Fornav designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. Most customizations you may want to do in a Fornav report can be done by editing the custom report layout for a report, creating new, re new, creating new report objects, or cloning existing reports is not often necessary. However, you may need to create a report for a different source table, or you may want a second report that does something different, like a picking list or, of, or a shipping document based on the sales order confirmation. In that case, you can clone a report. A cloned report is a new report object in a pertinent extension. So let's go and have a look at cloning reports. To clone a report, you can uh, open a report from the Fornav designer, as long as it's connected to your Business Central server. And we can find one of the Fornav reports we want to clone. In this case, I want to clone the Fornav VAT order confirmation. Normally what I would do is click OK and that would, that would open the custom report layout editing for this report. If I want to create a copy of a Fornav report, I need to click Create Copy, which opens the report for editing. Now the first thing I need to do after uh, cloning a report, after creating a copy, is set up my report properties because every object in Business Central needs to have a unique name and number. So if I scroll down in the report properties, you will find an object name and an object number. The object number, Fornav will find the first free object number in your uh, Business Central tenant, uh, which in my case is 50002. And the object name you can decide yourself. So I'm going to call this my shipment. And then in the report caption, I'm going to change the caption order to my shipment. And that takes care of uh, naming the report object. Then, of course, we want to change something in the report data set. In this case, I'm creating a shipment out of my order confirmation. So what I want to do is filter my uh, line data item so it only takes the items I want to actually ship. And to do that, I'm going to find my, uh, in the data item properties, I will find my data item table view and specify a filter. I'm going to filter on quantity to ship with a value greater than zero. So it, this report will only print lines for uh, order lines with uh, the quantity to ship greater than zero. I'm going to click OK. And then finally, I'm nearly ready to publish this report. Uh, finally, I want to be able to print this report from the order page. So I want to add a page extension. And to add a page extension, I can find my report properties. And right at the top, we have an extend pages. And if I drill down there, I can add a page extension. Let's call it my shipment and promote it. So it's available straight on the, on the main menu. 
And the page I want to add my page extension on is not the sales quote, but the sales order. And that adds a button on the on the sales order page for me to print my to run my report. So once I'm done, I can save this report as an object on the server. And if I do that, Fortnite will create a, an extension for me and it will upload it automatically to the Business Central tenant that I'm connected to. So in Business Central, if I go there, let's click refresh. In a Business Central tenant in my extensions list, I now have a new extension. Uh, it is called Fornav My Shipment and it contains the report I have just created and the page extension that I've added to the report. Which means that if I go to my sales orders and find a sales order that has some a quantity to ship on it. There we go, quantity to ship, 3366. I can find in the report my, my shipment button, which will run my brand new my shipment report. In some cases, there may be a need to clone an existing non fornav report. This may be because you want to edit a report that has no fornav equivalent. In that case, you can convert and clone an existing Business Central report. Please be aware though, converting an existing RDLC layout to Fornav will not be 100% 100 successful. To demonstrate this, let's go back to the Fornav designer and close the report we just created. Once again, hit open report from server. Now I'll we'll find a standard for a Business Central report. So let's uh, try report 36. This is an RDLC report, so it's not, an, uh, not a native Fornav report. So if I click OK or create a copy, Fornav will create a copy for me of this particular report. So the report is loaded. Let's find my report properties. You will notice Fornav has created a new object number, uh, 50003, which is the next available object. And it's given me an object name. And I will call this the my fiscal year. And of course, change the, uh, change the caption to my fiscal year balance. And let's save this object on the server. I'm not changing any, anything in the data set. I just want to make sure that this works. You will notice that some things in this report layout, uh, you will notice are not set to, uh, are not converted completely correctly uh, because like I said, RDLC does not convert one-on-one -on -one to four nav reports. However, once I've saved my report, I can preview it. And with the preview and close, you will notice that my Fornav report now works. Uh, my converted report works properly. But like I said, right here, uh, some data gets cut off because like I said, the conversion is not one-on-one. -on -one. However, it does give you a great starting point to get started with, uh, with your Fornav report. Finally, we want to edit our clone report in VS Code. This may be necessary to work with a complex temporary data set or to edit a report request page. Or you may simply want to add your clone reports to source control. In order to work with source control, I have created an empty extension. Uh, this is a basic extension for a Fornav on-prem system. So I have my dependency on the Fornav customizable report pack. And I've set my target to on-prem so I can use the Fornav DLL. And that's really all I need to do to set up an extension for Fornav reports. And if I want to clone, and clone a report into my extension, uh, once again, I work through Fornav. Now let's open a report from server again. Let's grab the Fornav VAT sales invoice and create a copy. 
once again, let's change the object name. And I'll leave the, leave the object number to 50,004, even though that's not in the list of object numbers that I want to use in my extension. But I can change that later once I have the report in VS Code. And let's be neat and tidy and change the caption as well to my invoice. And now, if I want to save the report, instead of saving as an object on the server, which will create a pertinent extension for this specific report, I'm going to hit Save As. And then find the source uh, the, the source uh, folder for my uh, for my extension, which is this one. You'll notice I have no objects here yet, but I have a layout, so VS Code, uh, and some AL packages. Let's change my let's change my file name to the correct uh, to the correct file name. So for my for now my invoice .report .al and hit save. Let's close this report in the for now designer and go to my extension. And in my extension, you will notice I have a new RDLC file which contains the for now layout. And I have a new AL file, uh, my phone of my invoice uh, dot report dot AL, which has one error, which is the uh, the object number. It's not valid. It must be within sixty thousand to nine 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 nine. So I will change this, and with control space, VS Code will tell me that the first free object number is sixty thousand. Once that's done, I'm done. I can save my report and publish it to Business Central. Let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was clone a FourNav report. Cloning FourNav reports is straightforward. The clone report is a direct copy of the original. Cloning an, ori an original Business Central report was a bit trickier. That requires us to do, to do some cleanup of the layout, uh, as FourNav does not convert RDLC 100%. Finally, we saved the clone report to our VS Code extension project. Since we have no questions at the moment, I will go on with uh, wrapping up the invoice, the, uh, uh, the webinar. If you want to know more about Fornav, please visit fornav.com. If you want to download the Fornav designer and play around with it, please do so from fornav.com slash download. And if you want to install Fornav in your uh, Business Central Cloud environment, please visit Microsoft App Source and search for Fornav. If you want to watch more of these FORNAV videos, please visit youtube.com slash FORNAV reports. And if you have any questions after uh, watching this uh, coffee break, you can email them to support at FORNAV.com. Of course, we're continuing our FORNAV coffee breaks. Uh, every week we do a 15 minute FORNAV coffee break. And for a list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit FORNAV.com slash coffee break. And if you have any topics for future for enough coffee breaks, please let us know. And if we do a coffee break about your topic, then uh, of course you'll have a great video about uh, your topic, but we will also send you a 50 euro or US dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, we're at the end of this webinar. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in a next coffee break. Goodbye.